Using the database concierge feature available with Garmin Pilot, you can download and store databases ahead of time and then transfer them wirelessly to your Perspective Plus avionics. If you've previously paired your device via Bluetooth to the Flightstream 510, it will be recognized automatically and paired. But if you haven't yet paired your device, then you'll need to make the Flightstream 510 discoverable for pairing by displaying the Connext setup page on the MFD. To display this page, turn the large FMS knob to access the AUX page group, then use the small FMS knob to select the Connext setup page. Anytime this page is displayed, the Flightstream 510 is discoverable to pair with your mobile device. Open the Bluetooth settings on your device and select Flightstream 510. Verify the passkey matches and then select Pair. With your mobile device Bluetooth connected and the Garmin Pilot app open, the Garmin Connect system automatically recognizes any available databases stored within Database Concierge. Once these pending updates are verified, the Flightstream 510 begins to broadcast the Wi-Fi network that provides the heavy lifting needed for the wireless database transfer. The Wi-Fi network is password protected, so if it's your first time connecting to the network, return to the Connect Setup page on the MFD where you'll find the network password listed in the Wi-Fi window, and then go ahead and enter it into your device. So although there's a few extra steps when you connect your device for the first time, any future connections are pretty seamless as all that will really be required is to select the network from within network settings on your device and the systems should recognize each other without needing to enter the password again. So with your device connected to the Flightstream 510 Wi-Fi network, all that remains is to acknowledge that you'd like to proceed with the update and then go ahead and monitor the transfer on the MFD database page and within your Garmin Pilot app by selecting Connext and then Database Concierge. Once the transfer is complete, restart the system using the bezel key aligned with Restart, or you can go ahead and manually restart the system by cycling aircraft power. After the avionics system restarts, head back to the AUX database page and verify the database effective dates are accurate. Ensuring current and accurate databases is critical to every flight as it guarantees you'll have the most up-to-date information. Expired database information will display on the system startup page in amber text to alert you of the required update. And when an update is needed, the once arduous task is replaced with a few quick steps that will have you up in the air with the most current information in a matter of mere minutes.